just levitate Hey guys, check it out, we got the SH Trigger Arts Gamma 1 from Dragon Ball Super Hero, Super Super Hero, yeah! So, from the new Dragon Ball movie, if you didn't know about it, well, I think you have been living under a rock, just like Patrick Star. So, first off, this figure is a premium Bandai exclusive, around 75 US dollars, should be out next year, at the start of next year. The other thing is that this figure um, is also gonna be going up for pre-order in a few days. So, well, in a few days actually is, yeah, it's tomorrow. But this figure looks pretty nice, I mean, I like the color. It has some really nice detailing, the shoulders look good, um, the red ribbon logo is actually on it. It has the one. And the cape, well, it's not a fabric cape, it's actually plastic. And it doesn't look that cut up, it actually looks pretty nice. It also has the blaster. Um, so, the, the Gamma is kind of like Cell. Right now the movie hasn't come out yet, so we don't... We, we know they're the bad guys, we know there's gonna be a fusion between them, so we'll see what happens. Um, this other picture here, you can see it with the open mouth. It's like, oh my god, what's going to happen there? That uh, looks that actually looks pretty darn good. Good job, they did a good job there. And this one here, you can see it with the blaster. So yeah, you can holster a blaster, unholst it. So that is cool that they allowed you to do that. So very superheroic poses you're gonna be doing here. That reminds me, this one reminds me kind of like a Saitama, but with instead of the white cape, is is a red cape. And here you can see a punching. By the way, I'm pretty sure the cape is not gonna be removable. It might be, it could be wrong or right about that, so we'll have to wait and see. And here you can see it with the angry face, and you can see a little bit more detailing on the blaster. You know, it's white, it has some red, it has some um, design that it looks to be gray, so that looks pretty nice. And the biggest thing here, the biggest kick in the freaking balls. Because this is what it is. Do you see how he's fighting Gohan and Gohan is Super Saiyan? And I know what you're thinking. Wait, Gohan is Super Saiyan? The Gohan figure doesn't come with Super Saiyan. Exactly. They duped us. Yeah. If you want Gohan with his Super Saiyan hair, and phase, which you need, both of them. Guess what? You have to buy Gamma 1. And he is a premium Bandai exclusive. Meaning that it's gonna sell out really darn fast. Meaning that not everybody's gonna be able to get it. Meaning that you are not gonna be able to display Gohan like this if you're not able to get it. Unless you go to the Monaco Feet, which I hopefully they do it. Hopefully they come out with uh head with all the accessories that Gohan should be having honestly that would be pretty cool hopefully they do but yeah and the thing is the head looks awesome you can see the detailing on the hair you can see all the lines that it has all the pan all the separation the face looks great the eyes the eyebrows man he looks awesome even here is you know it's not one face it's two there's two faces you know, it's a little bit too much here. It's a little bit too much what Bandai is doing. It's nickel and diming in. They, I 100% guarantee you, they're doing it because they know people are not gonna like the Gammas and people are not gonna be interested in the Gammas. I, I think that's why they're doing this. Because the Gammas here, look, Gamma 1, Gamma 2. Not a lot of difference. We'll take a look at Gamma 2 right now. Let's go and check out Gamma 2. Okay, so Gamma 2 just like Gamma 1. Pretty much exact same skull. The difference is the hair. The, the hair I... 
<laughs> the hair. I'm gonna leave this in the hair. Oh my god. No, the difference is actually those fins or antennas, whatever you want, call them the creases on the head, whatever you whatever those are called. I don't care what the name it is. And if you write in the comic I don't, in the comments, I don't care. I don't care, I'm not gonna say it the, the correct way anyways. So you can see um that's one of the difference. The other one is that he has the number two. Of course, you can see that he has a different letter on the belt, um, and the blaster is blue. That's pretty much the big differences here. You know, it's a little bit of a color swap with a little bit of a different head. And you can see it here doing these rock on poses and stuff. So I'm guessing that's gonna be a thing with it. It also has the Red Ribbon logo on it, of course. Um, you can see it here. It's actually pretty funny, honestly. Um, will it be able to stand like that by itself? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe there's some trickery here, but, um, he looks good. Like I said, he looks good. He looks good. He, he, the thing is, he's just the, the same figure, pretty much. Okay, you can see it doing one of the kicks, but we all know. That's they all can do that. that. That's nothing new. That's nothing crazy to go about. Also, the, the bottom of the boots don't, don't really have detail. It, it's just plain black down there. And the other kick to the balls. Yes, to the balls. The other kick to the balls. As you can see here, is wait. Gohan doesn't come with the piccolo cape. Or the hair. Yeah, you know why? Because they want you to buy Gamma 2 for it. <sighs> this is. Look at it. The one Gohan with the hair, with the glasses, with the cape. You have to buy Gamma 2. And again, Nico and Diming it. Nico and Diming it. I, I don't, man, this really pisses me off, because the thing is, they, they, they know people are gonna look at the gammas and they're gonna go like, ah, oh, yeah, okay, the gammas, they're, they're, they're okay, they're nothing big, what we really wanna see is the fusion between both of them, see what big crazy monster they make, supposedly something, something that kinda looks, it's like a supercell or something like that, wait, no, there was already supercell, uh, uh, Chin Cell, let's call him Chin Cell, God Cell, there, there you go. So, that's probably what they're gonna, that, that's what they are just doing, and it's dumb because Gohan should have come with all that. Honestly, now I'm starting, to, I'm now I'm starting to think that they're gonna make a fusion with the, that the fusion, you know, final version of these two, God, I cannot speak today, um, that final version of these two, I think Gohan is gonna get a new transformation in the movie or something and they're gonna include the head um, and with that one and hopefully that one is not Premium Bandai hopefully not because that will be pretty darn sad but yeah these are like they're great figures there's just you, you know we don't have any connection to them we haven't seen the movie yet um, at least at the time recording this uh, we haven't seen the movie yet you know, their designs ain't that crazy. Something to be crazy about. They don't come with effect parts, but they come with stuff for Gohan, and that's the thing that you want that stuff for Gohan. But they're premium bandai, that's the problem. The premium bandai is like, uh, now, you know, I have to pre order them, I have to go to the digital river, and I might not get lucky. I might. I might be able to snack one of them, I might be able to snack both of them, I might not be able to snack any. That's a problem. And if you're like me, band, the premium band that doesn't ship to my location, so I'm out. I'm, I'm out of the game when it comes to premium band. I'm like, okay, um, yeah, guys, there, there, there you go. There you go. Um, yeah, it, it, it's like, <laughs> no, there's no point in me trying to get them because I, I can't ship them, so. What's the point of me getting those pre-orders for, you know, I, I'd rather have somebody else get them. Probably a scalper will get them instead of, you know, just me getting them, paying Bandai and being like, Hey, ship them to me, and they're like, no, we don't ship to your location, man. 
we, we don't, it's our policy, you lost out on a lot of money. And these are expensive, 75 US dollars uh, for each one of them, it's a lot. Man, I'm pretty sad that they're doing this, it's kind of crazy. It, and I wasn't expecting to make these guys premium Bandai, why, why, why? I make them P Bandai, but they decide to, to get them P Bandai, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. But yeah, guys. Uh, hopefully the Monaco Fit will make those accessories for Gohan and if they do I'll definitely be buying them because I want that Gohan to be you know flesh out to look awesome and I have mine pre-order and I cannot wait for next month but it's gonna be really something so yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time